Okay guys, we want to talk about find a one rep max and this is specific to moving into a new program. So maybe you haven't been training consistently, maybe you're a fairly new athlete moving into one of our um, progressed training cycles. And what we want to do is not so much find a PR and see what you're really physically capable of, but what we're looking for is what is a heavy single that you can successfully and safely do today? And this is important because this is gonna dictate our training intensities as we move forward. So we're gonna be working off a percentage of one rep max. So first off, we are not looking for a PR, we're looking for a heavy single when we do this. Number two, our goal is to find it without hitting failure. We do not think that uh, before you start a cycle that you should be calling over spotters or potentially having missed lifts. Our goal is to find a heavy single you can do without assistance and without hitting failure. All right, a couple of things you're gonna notice is that as you increase the loading, all right, first off, your jumps from set to set are going to get smaller, all right? Second thing is we're gonna have more rest in between each set as we go. So initially you may be taking 30 seconds to 60 seconds of rest. As we get heavier, we'll push that rest from 60 to 90, and maybe even as long as two to two and a half minutes, all right? An example of a buildup would be if our warm-up rounds, let's say we're doing three warm-up rounds, typically warm-ups are gonna have some higher volume per set. So maybe eight at 95, we'll jump 20 pounds, we'll go eight at 115, and we'll jump 20 pounds again, and we'll go eight at 135. You notice these are all plate increments on a barbell, slapping on 25s, 35s, and then 45s. Typically what we wanna do is just work through plate increments as we increase the loading. From there, we're gonna actually go into the process of finding a one rep max. What we like to do is a five, four, three, two, one, 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 one kind of format. And that means that we're gonna continually add weight and drop volume. Here you see our first set's gonna be five at 175 pounds, which is a 40 pound jump from our last warm up set. Now, this should be very easy. And we're also are dropping the volume. So a 40 pound jump is not that big, but initially, depending on the lift, you can have fairly big jumps. A lot of male athletes will jump from 135 to 185 because they're simply sliding on 25 pound plates. It's totally appropriate, assuming that you have a high enough strength where 185 is not close to one rep max. We go to the next set, we're gonna do four. We're gonna do a 30 pound jump going from 175 to 205. Then we're gonna do a rest, three at 225. It's a 20 pound jump. Then we're gonna do two at 245, another 20 pound jump, and then we're gonna go a single at 255, and that's a 10 pound jump. And what you will do is continue to do 10 pound jumps until you get to a load that is challenging to do, or you feel that you cannot safely do another rep unassisted. And that's how we're gonna find a one rep max before we go into a new training program.